well deserved. So well deserved. Congratulations. We all know you don't get away. <laughs> I have to make one little correction. I'm the president of the Board of Governors. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't know that. It's just wonderful to see so many familiar faces and to meet so many new and wonderful people working in the arts and humanities. I am standing here um, as a representative of both arts and humanities. I don't know if anybody else has done that tonight. <laughs> uh, and I also felt that since all the men were getting to kiss Catherine, I should get to kiss Ike. <laughs> I am really honored and humbled to be the recipient of the County Executive's Lifetime Achievement Award. I want to thank you, Ike and Catherine, and I want you all to know that Catherine has become a dear friend. So is Ike, but you know girls. I did worry briefly that if I was getting a Lifetime Achievement Award now, does that mean I'm done? <laughs> I don't think so. My hope is that I've given the people of this county our great county, enrichment, education, and entertainment, things that they can carry with them through life. Children and adults alike need hopes, hope, dreams, skills, love, and opportunities to experience all these things. In my teaching years, I was privileged to give literally thousands of children and adults their basic acting skills, to watch them blossom, gain self-confidence, find joy in what they could do, even in some cases, find that the negative ideas they had about themselves could be overcome. There's a great well inside each of us that can be tapped so that all can become the best of themselves. It was my joy to watch that self-awareness come to the fore. For myself, I found satisfaction, not just in teaching or acting or directing, but in finding my, in myself talents I never dreamed I had. How to become a leader, to chair a board, to become a president of organizations, to be instrumental in finding ways to help organizations and people to achieve their goals and aspirations. Uh, learning to give testimony on the county, state, and federal government levels was something else I had to learn. I'm still doing that, too. And thanks to many for all the opportunities that I was given and am still being given. There are five people I want to thank for their love and support in all the years that I spent in meetings, teaching, acting, hoping to make a difference in our county. Without the unconditional love and support of my husband, Michael, my four children, Sean, Kathleen, Christopher, and Megan, I could never have done it all. I am so proud to tell you that we are a family which gives back. My husband does. Each of my kids contribute to their communities which range from Annapolis to Michigan to California to Hawaii. To them, my heartfelt gratitude and thanks for providing us with great places to visit. Thank you all so much tonight.